The next thing I'm going to do is to show how to download a file. Let's, let's first of all, we'll just go, first I'll show you how to Google for something. How to, you can use any web search engine, but this is set up to, to search in Google. So just click here in this Google box. Type something. If we wanted to download something related to kitty cats, we could type in kitty cat and see what comes up. Well, there's a YouTube video we could play and so forth, but I don't want to download that. I just want to download a simple image. Here's some images. All right. Let's right click on this and open it in a new tab. Here we have that tab we just opened. There's an image of a kitty cat. All right. Let's suppose we want to download that image. We could right click on it. We get, when we right click, we get a context menu. Here's a, the context menu. And we could choose Save Image As. So I click on Save Image As. Up comes a file browser where we can decide where we want to save it. Suppose we want to save it in the downloads directory. Well, we're already there. Suppose we wanted to save it to, a, to my home directory. I could click on that. Now I'm in my home directory. But let's go back to the downloads directory. And we'll save it here. What do we want to save the name as? Well, uh, the file name right now is a rather awkward file name. 01BDB54E and so on. Let's not use that name. Let's say cat1.jpg. JPG and we'll save it. Okay. Now let's open a file browser. And we'll go to the under, under the C drive, we go to Users. Under that, we go to My Home Directory, which is named Frank. Uh, yours would likely be named something else, depending on what, how you set up Windows when you first installed it. Now let's look at the Downloads Directory. And sure enough, here is a Cat1. Now, this is actually cat.jpg. It's not showing the file extension yet, and I'm going to show you how to fix that later on. If we want to view that image, we can double click on it. And up comes the picture we just downloaded. So let's kill that. Now, remember when we set up Fi Firefox, we said when you download something, leave the downloads window open in case I want to do something with that recent download. Let's move this out of the way. We'll grab the title bar and move it over to the right a little. I'm through with this whole tab, so I'm going to kill it with the, clicking the X. I'm going to move this out of the way by clicking on the title bar and dragging. Here's the Firefox Downloads window. Notice that it has the file in it, and notice that it's showing the file's full name. Later, we're going to fix the, the file browser so that it also will show the full name. OK, uh, if I'm done with this, I could close it. If not, let's say I want to view the image again. I can just double click on it right here. I double clicked, and there's the image of the kitty cat. Well, I don't particularly want to keep this around. I'm going to clear the list and close the downloads window. That did not get rid of the file. From, from my hard drive, however. Now, where is this stored? Well, this shows where it is. It's under my computer, under the local disk C. It's in the subdirectory named Users. Under that, it's in my home directory named Frank. Within that, it's in a directory named Downloads. Whereas this shows that full path to where the file is. Well, I don't really want this file sticking around. If I wanted to rename it, I could right-click well, if, if I click on it just right, 
we'll get a chance to rename it. But otherwise, we right click, we get a context menu, and we can click on rename. Now I could name it to uh, Cat2, for example, if I wanted to. All right, but I don't, uh, let's leave that. I'll hit Tab, that'll complete the, uh, the renaming. Now it's named Cat2, but I don't want that in there, so I'm going to right click and choose Delete. Are you sure you want to move this file to the recycle bin? Yes, I'm sure. I don't want it sticking around. There we go. It's gone. 